Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boy cotters and girl cotters. It's time for another spreadsheet. Ha ha ha. It is time for the Corrupted Brawler Milestones. Check this out. So this launched a couple of days ago, technically, because they started appearing in the High Roller and Save the World uh, prior to the World Warrior Milestones flipping. So they gave us a chance to do a little bit more uh, farming before the end of the event, which is fairly short. Only 28 days total for this event, officially, starting today. Um, so you'll start with a few extra shards, and that'll throw off the calculator a little bit when we get to the spreadsheets. Uh, but that's okay. I'll walk you through that and show you how to account for it. And uh, we'll look through what the uh, actual rewards are. Um, these things vary. You know, the uh, they're the same as before. It's the same three milestones we've been doing for, I don't know, probably over a year now, uh, energy, spending gold, and then the World Warrior, which is sort of an alliance-wide uh, push to get a lot of points. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the changes from some of the previous milestones and uh, show a little bit of the difference and then how you can optimally hit your Spider-Man shards uh, and get as many as you can to unlock him and potentially get like a four maybe a, I don't know, I don't think it's possible, but you could get potentially a five star. So. Let's get to it. Uh, I think we're all familiar with these things. They did change one thing, though, and I don't think it was like this for Coulson or previously. They now have it as win or lose an attack in Alliance War, and that's a big change because it used to be just winning attacks in Alliance War. The other ones are the same thing. You just have to uh, participate in the raid or the arena. You'll get the points. The Blitz, though, you do have to win those battles. That's the only one that's contingent on winning. Uh, so FYI, that's a big change. That actually changed my point calculation quite significantly with World Warrior. It makes it a lot easier for everybody to participate uh, and score a lot of points. So you don't have to get the win. You just have to participate, which is great. So active players are more important than anything else in this game, and that is a big piece of it. So uh, we'll just go from left to right here to talk through it. Uh, so I put the end date as 311, which is the Wednesday in the middle of uh, March. So that's 28 days away from today. And that's when the event will end. So all the calculations we'll be doing will be based on that. And uh, let's get to it. So high roller, um, the increments did not change, but they did remove some of the later milestones. Um, so right now you only get five shards uh, if you complete, you know, the first 13 milestones, which is 1.825 million gold spent per day. And that is very pricey and very expensive to get that fifth shard. Uh, just like before, I have gold per shard listed here in a separate column. You can see the first and the last are always the most expensive. Uh, really, the sweet spot is kind of in the middle here at either 8.25 or 825,000 gold to get three shards for 275 a pop. Or if you want to spend a little bit more, spend that extra 400k, you know, rank up somebody from 70 one to 72 or something on their levels uh <laughs> that'll pretty much finish that uh, gap there you're paying about 312,000 per shard and that's a lot of gold that is a lot to put out um the thing is with those you will actually kind of want to spend as much as you can throughout this event because it's limited it's only four weeks you know this is less uh, this is about half the time that we had for captain marvel and colson uh they were both about 50 something days a piece uh so this is fairly short now they did say that he will be coming back soon possibly end of march beginning of april which sounds like there will be a break uh in between there but, you know, who knows? That could change. And he seems like a pretty good character. So I think we want to do everything we can right now to maximize our, our shard getting. And so it looks like it's fairly simple to do about the 1.25 million if you got some gold saved up. So I'd been saving up mine. I have about 6 million in reserve right now. So I'm going to be hitting this 1.25 every day. Um, but if we scroll down here, uh, I did update the daily gold estimates a little bit. So I think we're getting really on average about 1.1 1 .1, uh, gold orbs a day if you're completing the gamma raids, or I'm sorry, just Greek raids every day. You know, you get about one gold orb per day. Plus the challenges, they've upped the shard drops in those a little bit. 
and uh, that'll give you about 1.1 gold orbs a day. And an average now with the bump in the base pay for them to about 180k a day, although I'm sure people will you know, vary on what they think that number should be. It is just random luck, so uh, feel free to edit these numbers in your own way as you like. He started out with 5 million gold, or that's his estimate, and he's saying if you want to hit the 1.25 million every day uh, consistently and getting those four shards, uh, basically you need to account for what your income is say it's a million a day um, you spend 1.25 million uh, your end gold per day is going to be x and so the idea is so you don't run out uh, you have a few days here or a day here where you need to recharge a little bit here um, and then here and here and here towards the end and you're eventually going to run out and so uh, I got a little bit more gold than 5 million, so I'm hoping my recharge days fall closer to the end of the event. Uh, but this is kind of my template for getting the most shards, is four a day is my target, but I'm really trying not to spend beyond that too far. And so I want to show you a quick trick real quick. I'm going to go back here to uh, Marvel Strike Force. And let's say you're really close to a milestone, but you don't want to like rank somebody up all the way because that would cost too much money. A uh, cool thing you can do is just click on the training orbs and watch the number here count up. So each one of these is a very small increment. So if you're only like 20,000 away from the next milestone, you don't want to spend 400k leveling up somebody, but you also don't want to waste it on somebody you don't need to level up. You can use the individual training mods and just click on them here or here to add more and more uh, or remove them and only spend just a little bit of gold on them right and that'll help you hit those milestones almost exactly so you're not wasting any gold that you don't need to spend beyond your your target milestones so let's go back here um, so this is a really cool chart i really appreciate him making this and sharing it um, if you want to hit the later milestones you can see here uh, unless you can you have a lot more starting gold or you plan on getting a lot more gold somehow <laughs> Uh, you're going to have a real hard time sustaining that full max 2150 or 2.15 million to get those extra five T4s. And I don't think that's worth it. I think the main thing is here, we should be going for Spider-Man shards. Uh, so this 1.8 probably is more sustainable. But as you can see here, he's already getting down to recharge days after just a few days into, um, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so that's really, really tough to do. Um, so I'm shooting for the 1.25. If you're a lot richer than me and you got tens of millions of gold sitting around, yeah, go for it. Hit 1.8 every day, get all five shards and keep going because that's the only way you're going to get four stars or more on this guy. Um, Let's move on. So the next one is the Save the World Challenge. So I've already done all the energy calculations previously. Those haven't changed. You get 1,008 energy every day if you do your uh, four 50 core refills for 120 energy each, which is 480. You get 240 energy for free by just picking it up from the uh, missions uh, tab. And then throughout the day, you will regenerate 288 total energy, assuming you never cap out and miss energy. Um, so that gives you 1,008 energy total uh, to hit the second Spider-Man shark, because there's only two in this one, unfortunately. Uh, you only need 1,140 energy, and it's every two days, right? So there's really not much reason to, uh, you know, keep doing this, like, over and over again. Like, it, it's... Before, we, we were having trouble because we were trying to hit the 2100 mark, which is just a little bit above the cusp of a full uh, two days energy total, like what we were doing here. So you can see here I had this set as milestone 11 and 12 were kind of the break points in the previous milestones for Colson. Well, now it's just 1140, and anybody can do that easy. Um, so what I'm thinking here is since... Uh, you know, there's some more orb frags and cores at the end here. If you want to farm those, what you could do is just hit your 1140 in one day, or, well, a day and a quarter of a day, without using your refreshes on the second day. Save those for the next one, and then that'll give you another 480 energy towards the, the next day, which would get you right around the 2450. So if you want to be really smart about this milestone, you would want to be on a two-day cycle, and this may be kind of hard to keep track of just because, you know, it's kind of annoying how it's on two days, the other one's one day, and then the other one's seven days. It's just a lot to think about, a lot to jumble in your head. But if you want to go for these extra 40 cores, which is right here at the end, you could basically hit your 1140, and then you'd still have, you know, 900 left over so <laughs> to use towards the next milestone. Well, if you're naturally going to hit about 2,000 uh, energy anyways, um, 
and just in a two day span, uh, well, then you could add that extra energy or those refreshes to that second two day cycle and hit the final milestone. So keep that in mind. It's just a couple of cores. It's not a big deal if you don't do it. I'm personally not really going to try to track that too much because it's just too much trouble. I don't really want to deal with it. So I'm probably just going to hit, you know, around 1860 every day and then save up as needed. Um, other thing to consider when you're doing this is if you hold out a whole bunch, uh, you're holding out on raid tickets for your alliance too, and you may not want to do that because, you know, they may need them to launch the next raid, uh, especially if it's on a turnover day where there's going to be three raids active, one from the previous Greek raid and one from the new Greek raid, and then you have your Ultima stuff. So keep that in mind, uh, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Uh, and now I think the biggest change, uh, also I forgot to mention, the Save the World also reduced milestones, so there aren't as many milestones milestones um, I don't know why they did that there's nothing to really push for there it just kind of I, I don't know why they're removing milestones like that I would think even if they don't want to add spider-man shards like why not leave them there but whatever um, so it seems like they're making it more friendly towards uh, kind of middle of the pack alliances which I think is a really good move by the way this is an important piece of the game is that you know not everybody's in a top 100 alliance and doing you know three hours a day of this game to be up there uh so this is a really good move i like this so they reduced the world warrior milestones from 205,000 to 171,000 to top out and the spider-man shards there's six total in it they cap out at 156,000 so if there are alliances that weren't able to meet the full milestones in the previous just non colson just regular milestones everything was 205k before that at the top end um, so not only are they lowering the bar but they're also moving more tier 4 items into it and stacking 20 at the end here at 171k and giving us 30 total instead of 20. Um, the orb frag stayed mostly the same not a huge change there there's just they, they've added there's blue orb frags there's orange orb frags and there's milestone frags i just tallied them all up as totals here because i don't really care too much about them but they didn't really change the parts or anything you still get abcs um oh, oh we don't need those and uh we got these shards so you get six shards um total for finishing us which is a little lower we used to get 10 with colson but that's okay um you know he's a he is a lower unlock rate so instead of being 180 to unlock it is 100 uh, so we don't need nearly as many shards to get him unlocked but of course we all know three star characters or three gold star characters are not that you know <laughs> great <laughs> we definitely need more stars uh so let's look at this though real quick so the world warrior is now reduced to 171k so if you need a calculator to figure out how much you need to do per day to contribute for your alliance well i think five blitz wins a day is pretty standard right um basically if you do that that's 50 points if you do 14 raid energy usages so that's seven hits per raid per day so that'd be 14 total i think people probably do more than that on average i know i do uh, that's 420 points uh, if you do your five arena fights a day that's 425 points uh, war attacks so if you do i put mine at 30 so we have three wars a, um, a week um, usually if we win we're doing it before you know the last two energy refreshes sometimes a third uh, so i'm only getting nine to ten attacks per war generally uh, but let's say on average it's 10 so that'd be 30 per week divide by seven equals 4.29 attacks per day on average uh, that's 364 points for the alliance and then in total this equals 1259 and i think that's a pretty average uh review of what it all goes into you know a week or a day or a uh, day's worth of playing so that's well above that's 20 percent higher than what you need per day out of each person so that means people can slack on this and still be covered by you know more active alliance mates or people who just blitz like crazy um, so this is going to be really easy to hit if you're in an alliance that's struggling to hit this you can kind of see these day one day two day three milestone progressions on the side here all that's doing is it's corresponding with the alliance points it's needed and uh, this is just a help if you're trying to track and you're getting really close but you're not quite making the last couple of milestones uh, where you need to be and so i hope that helps some people if they're uh, not able to hit that 171 easily uh, but if not you know it's just something you don't even have to think about and that's really nice so uh, i think this is a good change to move that number down just so people aren't you know worrying about it 
And I think it'll help a lot of the middle of the pack alliances uh, in size to really hit the, those numbers and, and get it. And, you know, if people take a day off here and there, uh, it's not really a big deal. You're not going to have to go hound everybody, but um, it should be pretty simple to do. So last piece of this little symbiote simulator thing, uh, <laughs> symbiote shard simulator here, is let's just say now it's only 28 days, so don't mind actually uh, charting out all of these. Well, let's say you're able to hit the 1.25 million gold every single day you get four shards and you hit your two shards and the energy thing every two days which is super simple um and then the world warrior stuff is uh six shards per seven days essentially so i was just splitting these out let's say your daily shard intake is somewhere right around five to six shards uh over 28 days you're going to end up with 164 shards at the end of this from these 28 days starting today so if you already got some shards like i got 11 already uh that would be i mean i'd be at 175 and i would be literally five shards short of hitting four stars with him at that rate um that's kind of disappointing, but I know that in advance, so I could basically go hit the orbs or something like that with cores and, you know, get five shards just to bridge that gap a little bit. Now, that's assuming, though, that I can sustain the 1.25 million every day, and I don't know that that's necessarily feasible based on our chart over here. Uh, so I'm starting with, say, 6 million gold, and you can see here there's a couple of two-shard days because you need to build your gold back up to keep, pre uh, keep pushing for those. Um, so really think about this part of it. I think this is the complicated part. I think most people can ignore the energy and World Warrior stuff. That should take care of itself for the most part. Really, this is going to come down to how disciplined are you about spending your gold? Uh, are you able to stretch your gold up to these 1.8 million occasionally to get an extra shard? Um, or are you going to stick to this regimen of hitting 1.25 every day? Um, because I think that's that's really the gains here. That's, that's the biggest impact you can have. Uh, as you gain shards, though, uh, if you update this current shard count, let's say it's, you know, 20 shards by now. Well, there's 27 days left in the event. I'm averaging 6.6 .6 a day with this number, potentially. Then it's saying that I'll probably hit the four-star unlock. Um, that's all this is for. So if I got 50 shards already, because maybe I bought his offer or something, well, that would give me uh, almost an, or that would give me enough for a five star uh, potentially, because I'm hitting so many daily shards. However, that's not really indicative of your daily amount. It's uh, just indicative of your total uh, divided by the number of days in the event or remaining in the event and total uh, to give you an idea of how much you're getting per day. So. This does throw it off a little bit. Like I said, I have 11 right now, so that's only showing us 3.6 per day. But as these uh, milestones ramp up and I get a whole bunch more, it's going to start bumping up and down um, based on the output. So if you complete your World Warrior real soon and there's three extra days, <laughs> if you're just waiting around for it to reset, your shard count's going to jump up artificially, but then it's going to average back down as the uh, shards kind of dwindle. <laughs> so we're looking at a pretty tough four star uh unlock here is what i'm seeing um everybody should be able to unlock them fairly simply uh getting 100 shards isn't going to be too much trouble you can see we almost get that much just in the first two weeks um and then another 82 but we're still about we're still a little bit short here and so it's going to be real close to getting the fourth star and you can see even if you were to do say the uh full gold like let's say you got max on every one of these right and you just okay so that would give you 192 shards total so that would give you four stars right plus maybe you already got like 10 or so um so you'd get the four star there even if you're doing max gold milestones with all, uh, really just maxing all the milestones and that's pretty significant um that's a lot of gold to spend <laughs> and that's uh that's gonna be tough to sustain um and I just don't think that's worth it. I think it's better just to go for the 1.25, get the almost four star unlock and maybe spend some cores on an orb or two just to ensure that you hit that fourth star. Uh, but if he comes back again in a couple, uh, you know, like month and a half, like that's not so bad. It's just, it kind of depends on where you're at in the game. If you don't have any gold saved up, then this is going to be really hard and you're probably going to have to choose a lower gold milestone to hit. But anyway, that's the calculator. It's fairly simple. It's fairly straightforward. It's exactly the same as the Colson layout, which is also on this spreadsheet. Uh, it's right next door if you want to go check out what the Colson event gave uh, as a 
reference point to this one. Uh, overall, I mean, yeah, I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more shards. I'd like to see it last longer. I wish it was, you know, a two month event. I think that would be more reasonable because of what we've seen in the past with other characters. But at the same time, you know, I mean, it's just it's just giving you stuff for things that you already do in the game all the time. So it's, you know, it's just nice to have. Um, obviously, if this guy ends up being some sort of meta breaker or game changer for arena or something like that, uh, you know, that would be pretty significant. But it doesn't look like it's that way. I think he'll just be a really good addition to a uh, city rating and city you know dark dimension stuff uh, i believe everybody's predicting he's going to be necessary for dd3 so we'll see how that goes uh but at three gold stars i think it's going to be pretty hard to use him in dark dimension three so that's kind of where we're at right now i was trying to figure out like well what do we do with this <laughs> So hopefully this helps you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to copy it, share it, do whatever you like. And, uh, you know, if you got something cool to add to it or some ideas on a uh, add-on or change to it, let me know. I'd be happy to add it in here for other people to use as well. And, uh, yeah, I hope you found some use for this. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it. All right? Take care.